billed as a day of anger, but it's become a day of chaos right across Egypt. Downtown Cairo is a battle zone as tens of thousands of protesters hit the streets, clashing with Egyptian security forces, all demanding an end to President Hosni Mubarak's 30-year reign. Tear gas falls from every angle, but demonstrators show no sign of backing away, facing off with heavily protected riot police who fire water cannon and rubber-coated steel bullets. These unprecedented scenes, which could prove a defining moment in G Sorry, take two. These unprecedented scenes, which could prove a defining moment in Egypt's history, played out live on Al Jazeera. Running battles taking place on bridges across the River Nile, in full view from Al Jazeera's office. Inspired by the downfall of Tunisia's long-serving president, these acts of defiance suggest many Egyptians have indeed lost their fear of any crackdown their government could launch. Is that any better? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Go, guys. Go. go. From the top. Build as a day of anger, but it's become a day of chaos right across Egypt. Downtown Cairo is a battle zone as tens of thousands of protesters hit the streets, clashing with Egyptian security forces, all demanding an end to President Hosni Mubarak's 30-year reign. Tear gas falls from every angle, but demonstrators show no sign of backing away, facing off with heavily protected riot police who fire water cannon and rubber-coated steel bullets. These unprecedented scenes, which could prove a defining moment in Egypt's history, played out live on Al Jazeera, running battles taking place on bridges across the River Nile in full view from Al Jazeera's office. Inspired by the downfall of Tunisia's long-serving president, these acts of defiance suggest many Egyptians have indeed lost their fear of any crackdown their government could launch. In anticipation of what had been billed as the biggest of four days of rallies, the government completely shut down the internet across the country very early on Friday morning. Mobile phone networks also jammed from 10 a.m. in an attempt to stop people from communicating. But what couldn't be controlled by the regime is Friday's day of prayer. As people flooded out of mosques around 1 p.m., the clashes began. These scenes were filmed at a mosque in Giza, where Nobel laureate and pro-reform campaigner Mohamed el Baradei was praying. He and many others were pinned down inside the mosque as tear gas and water cannons tried to end the demonstration. High-profile opposition leader Ayman Noor was injured at another Cairo mosque and hospitalized. There has not been any definitive leader of this protest movement so far, and that still remains the case, as the people speak in a loud and, to this point, unified voice. Piece to camera you can insert there using the tail end of my walk and talk, where the guy jumps in and says, down with Mubarak. Still no response from President Mubarak as to whether he'll listen to their demands for a new leader, nor any indication of how he plans to bring these protests to an end. But it's sure that a man who's maintained state of emergency powers for all of his 30-year reign will not be letting go lightly. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera, Cairo.